Hey guys, it's Mel. I'm coming with another D stash. I'm trying to still continue, and there's a lot more to come um, of stuff I need to get rid of, rid of and clear out my craft room because I need more space in here for baby stuff and you know things like that. So I'm trying to seriously go through what I'm not using and either put them up for sale on here, which I usually do first. These may end up going on the scrapyard too, but it depends on how they move. I like to put them on YouTube first. I don't know why. I just like it better. <laughs> um, but and then if they don't move I might put them on scrapyard too so um, this is all like usual um, PayPal um, I'm not going to break up any of the lots right now because this is just easier for me and less confusing than to sell like things individually and it's easier and I think it's more fun to get things as a lot but um, so any questions let me know the first person to private message me um, your PayPal email so I can send you an invoice. Um, we'll get each item and I will try to update this as they move, um, as they're sold, once they're paid for. Um, or if not, I'll put pending, um, pending payment or whatever. So let's get started. First, we have this big um, thickers lot here. Most of it is thickers. There's a couple, like there's a Making Memories, there's an Amy Tangerine. I guess it's a line of thickers. Um, I just have way too many. There probably will end up being more lots of these, but this is a ton of thickers. Um, most of them, I don't think any of them, that one right there may have been open. Most of them are brand new. Some of them may have been open, maybe one or two letters used, but I, I don't even think maybe that one right there, but I think most of them have not even been open. So you just get a variety, and I'll just show you that one over there. And just to, let me see if I can zoom in any. But um, there's some pretty, like there's like a tiger stripe pink one, and tiger stripe teal one, uh, winter white um, cursive -y fonts, pretty. Some sparkly foam ones, that black and white one up there, that um, lullaby, that cursive, that's really pretty. I just have way too many, you guys. I went a little crazy. So if um, these are all US too, sorry. All these prices, because um, a lot of them I try to include shipping in it, so we don't have to do that separately. Um, so for this thicker lot, you'll get all these letter stickers. Some are thicker, most of them are thickers. Um, for $30 shipped in the US. So if you want that, just say thicker lot, please, and just provide your um, PayPal email so I can send you an invoice. Okay, I have you on my tripod for most of this, so it can not be so. Um, shaky then i just have two cricket cartridges left i think i have some more but i like one of them i need to find the handbook so before i put them up for sale i want to make sure i have everything together and throughout my cleaning in here i'm hoping they show up because you know how the craft room can get um so the two cartridges i have i'm just going to do accent essentials um, and they're going to be shipped unboxed, both of them. And both of them, I'm putting them as linked. I'm not sure if they are or not, but I'm selling them as linked, meaning they're linked to a gypsy, but they'll work fine in any Cricut machine. Um, but you won't be able to link them to a gypsy if they are linked, but I'm selling them as that because I'm not sure. So Home, link, um, home Accents will be $15 shipped in the U.S., um, of course, unboxed. And then New Arrival, we're going to do 23 shipped. Um, that one was, I think, retired or something like that. It's good for baby stuff it's got on there. So if anybody's interested in those, let me know. And once I find my other cartridges, I have a few more that I want to sell off because um, I don't have my Cricut anymore. Um, so that's for those. Then next I have two large paper lots. Um, they're mainly American craft uh, paper. And these are great for anybody who does mini albums, um, who does like little books or maybe you do classes or maybe you want to do a bunch of maybe do card classes and you need a bunch of the same you know paper um i find myself using these a lot when i do banners um because you can blow through paper like crazy and these are like nicer paper so um there's two lots here um i'm just going to see if i can get here without actually getting in the camera um this this is going to be lot, american crafts paper lot number one and let me just take this off the first pack of paper, and it's hard to say how many's in there, but look, there's quite a few. So, um, this one's really pretty. It's got like a uh, rose, it's called Amplified by American Crafts. And what's nice about this, I'm gonna try as much as I can and not get in the camera, um, is it is scalloped. I don't know if you can see that around the edges. And um, you just break this little piece off and it's perforated once you're ready to do that. Um, but you're getting a big stack of that. Um, some of them, like, I think they usually come either 20 or 25 and I might have used one, you know, one or two or, you know, most of them will say they at least have 15 to 20, you know, in them. Um, so there's this one it'll come with. Then there's this one that's really pretty. You get a lot from this if you cut these apart. There's all types of banners. This is um, uh, Donna Cells or um, rustic papers. And these feel like, I don't know if it's mulberry paper, but I even got it for this back, like Manila um, 
page because you use them a lot in scrapbooking. And these are all 12 by 12. So um, I, I just think these would look really pretty all, you know, cut out and used for cards and stamping images and things. Then there's this one. is Donna, Donna sells are as well. Artistic papers and it's that nice, um, I don't know. It's a decent paper. And there's little calendars. So you can make your own calendar book. If you cut these down to four and then stack them up, you can make a little calendar for somebody's desk or it would be a nice gift idea. So there's that. And you can fill in the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and all that. Then you're going to get, um, there's a lot still in here. Some of these papers, you know, um, some of these papers were used, but there's a decent amount still in there. They're, I'd say like, it says there's 30 different patterns and there's 60 loose sheets. So I'd say at least 45 and that's underestimating because I didn't use that much. But there's a lot of this one's great for birthdays. I'm just going to kind of go through real quick. Here's all the patterns you can have on here. So it's American Crafts. Um, this is the celebration pack. Um, so you get that in its little sleeve. So there's a ton of papers in there. And then this one, same thing. There's probably even more in here because I think I used less of this one. This is like um. This one's called American Crafts and it's called Amplified. And I'll show you some of the patterns that are on here. And let me see if I can do like a flip. It's not going to show a lot of them. But there's a lot of pretty pattern papers that you can do for cards. It's a lot of springy coming up and there's some you can even use for fall. But there's a lot of pretty American Craft papers in there. So you get two of those big packs. You'll get this um, calendar page. You'll get this um, ton of banner page that you cut out. And then the scalloped pack for, you know, mini albums or whatever you want to decide to do it for. So that's paper lot number one. And that's going to be 35 plus shipping. And the shipping is going to be around 12 probably round up to like $13 because it's going to have to come in a box similar to this. Um, the medium flat rate. And these are heavy because that's a big, big hunk of papers. So, um, whoops, sorry guys. So, um, it's going to be 35 plus shipping in the U.S. And then I'm doing it in like the flat rate, the priority mailbox. And same thing for this one. Then this one has more in it. Not more in it, just more individual packs, if that's what you're looking for. So that first one was American Crafts Paper Lot Number 1. So just say you're interested in that. Then the second one is mainly American Crafts. I think it might all be American Crafts. We'll check as we go. 